Boom! One plus Nord, CE2! Ang weird pagkatangay ito. Ito na ang sulit na OnePlus phone in the world. Abot kayo magandang specs at napahaba ng pangalan OnePlus Nord CE2. Bakit mahaba ang pangalan pala? Pinapahirapan mo kami! Uh, Joke lang. Actually, thank you so much OnePlus for sending us a special edition OnePlus Nord CE2. Guys, alam niyo bang limang tao lang sa buong mundo ang merong ganitong cellphone? Sure ka ba dyan? That's right, I'm one of the lucky five na merong ganito. Sino ba ang merong ganito? BBM? Lenny, Isko, Pacquiao, at ako lang. Baka sila tunili? Kasi, that's what CE stands for. Candidate Edition. Hey, joke lang. Pabasyo ako. Iraulo. But seriously, ang ibig sabihin ng CE ay Core Edition. This one is one of the fanciest OnePlus mid-range phones na in-offer ni OnePlus. And through 5 Lay, meron ganito sa buong mundo. And di ko alam kung sino pa yung binigyan nila. But yes, this is an honor. Kasi si OnePlus Nord CE2 ay magandang specs. It has a powerful Dimensity 900 processor, 5G na po yan. Meron na siyang 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, 4,500 milliampers of battery, 65 watts warp charger, 64 MP triple... Joke lang. <laughs> Sorry na, excited lang masyado na alam niyo na sa boss ko. Pataas ng pataas, di ba? Pero yun, unbox na natin itong phone na to. Ako pala si Bins and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Uhu. -huh. Kung hindi mo siya kayong bilhin sa akin, don't worry, meron tayong pag-giveaway ngayon. OnePlus Nord CE2 to one lucky subscriber. All you need to do is subscribe, hit the bell icon, and watch this whole video, and check out the mechanics down below. Alright. Okay, so it's a big hamburger box. Black, blue, blue kasi yung color ng phone sa loob. Oh my. Casing, phone. Swerte mo kung meron ganito. Sa akin ka lang makabili niyan. What? Pero yun, black and blue na casing. Wala na yung wala na. And... The box. Super 500k box. This looks like the OnePlus Nord. One, two, three. Bahama blue color. Here we go. Napakalaki po ng box. One. Okay. Medyo may damage na siya, pero still super rare, super special. At kailan meron nito? OnePlus! Ang ganda naman ng casing. What? This is the first time I have ever seen this quality. 20,000 pesos to guys. At kasama na siya sa package ko. Ito na. Ang box. SIM ejector pin. The team. Dear friend. Dear friend. Dalawang dear friend. Okay. Congratulations. Ayun lang. Masyado mahaba. Thank you. The Nord team. So much a special letter. Safety information guide. At ayun na yung laman ng napakamahal na box na to. Ito na po. Careful, baka mahulog. Tama na yung isang bagsak lang. Ito na yung phone, boom. Yan na po. Cardboard, a super magical red USB Type-C cable. Specially made for the 65 watts warp charger. Ang laki ng charger, parang sa laptop. Siguro sobrang bilis nito. Super book! Kala ko ba warp charger, bakit super book ang pinigay sa akin? This time lang yan, yung warp, super book, so... Feeling ko gana naman yan. At ayun lang, syempre, balik ko na dito. Again, if you want to buy from me, 499,000 na lang. Here's the phone. Ooh. Guys, officially available to sa Philippines, ha? Mamaya, sasabihin ko yung pulay na price niya. Ito na po siya. What? Look at that. Gel-like look. So shiny. Ang kinis. Ang smooth tingnan. Tingnan nyo naman yung camera. Ang smooth ng kanyang pagka-slide dun sa corner. I gotta say, this is one of the most social looking phones I have ever reviewed. Thank you so much! Ang ganda niya! Ang swerte mo kung mabibili mo talaga ito. I mean, it looks good, but someone else deserves you better. Now, ito po ay plastic, no? So, uh, yeah. That's plastic material. It is a glossy back, pero hindi masyadong halata yung kanyang fingerprint sa likod. Plastic din yung kanyang body. Magaan po siya masyado. And also, super sexy niya. Actually, sabi ni OnePlus, ito yung isa sa mga pinaka-sexy nalang phone since the OnePlus 6T. 7.8mm yung kanyang kapal. At yung camera, ang laki masyado. That is one of the biggest camera lenses I have ever seen on a phone. By the way, yung kanyang camera pala is 64MP main camera, 8MP ultra-wide angle lens, and 2MP macro lens. So, dapat mababa yun kasi 2MP lang. At sila alam niya si LED flash, and that's pretty much it. Pero yes, if I look at this right now, no? Ang kanyang likod ay parang glass yung itsura. Kapag tinatama ng ilaw, meron siyang shine, a glass-like shine to it. Akala mo meron nakapatong na salamin 
dito sa likod niya. But yes, ito ay plastic lang. Maganda yung pagka-integrate na kanyang camera. Smooth na smooth yung pagka-slide niya. Hindi halata yung kanyang umbok. But of course, may umbok siya. Ayun. Grabe, sobrang ganda kapag ka tinitilang mo at an angle, yung kanyang camera talaga. It makes all the difference. It is a very dreamy phone. Of course, yung kanyang logo sa gitna, OnePlus. And meron pang mga letter-letter dito. Pero hindi mo sa halata kasi dahil nga sa kulay. Sa sides, ito po yung kanyang power button. Sa taas naman, may microphone. Sa ilalim, iso kanyang headphone jack, microphone, USB type support, yung speaker. At sa left side naman, iso kanyang volume rocker and yung SIM tray. Which is a dual nano SIM card slot. At sa likod naman ay micro SD card slot for expandability. Wow! Napagkasya nila dyan. Compact design. Okay, so bago natin pag-usapan ang display niya, pag-usapan man natin si Oxygen OS. Ito yung main reason kung bakit mo bibili yung phone. Yes, that's right. This is one of the best OS available on Android. Si Oxygen OS. Kasi nga, sobrang simple niya. Kapag nabili mo siya, puro Google Apps lang meron dito. Walang Lazada, walang Baidu, walang Clash of Clans, walang Candy Crush. Like, bakit? Pwede ko naman i-install yun eh. At oo, oh, pwede naman install Pero, yes, kapag ka nabili mo to, right out of the box, ang linis siya tingnan. The interface looks very clean, very fast and smooth. It is almost vanilla Android. Isa pa si OnePlus sa mga pinaka-optimized na Android OS in the world. Kapag tumagal, mabilis pa rin siya. Hindi ka tulad ng ibang Android phones. Samsung, One UI. Oh, by the way, Oxygen 11.3 na pala to. The latest Oxygen OS. And with that, let's talk about the display. 6.43 inches, 1080p, Full HD+. 90Hz AMOLED display the same as the OnePlus Nord 2 last year. Ito po ay high quality, very fast, very smooth display. Pero yun, dahil lang nga sa upper left corner yung kanyang punch hole, it looks like a Realme phone. But get this, kaya niya up to 2160p, 4K, 60 frames per second na may HDR dito sa YouTube. What? Paano ginawa yan ni OnePlus? May HDR pa? At ang ganda ng quality. Look at that. Look at the sharpness. Masarap manood dito ng mga videos. Netflix and that dynamic range Siguro one of the best displays on a mid-range device Oo, kadalasan nasa 17, 18,000 pesos na yung mga itong klaseng display But, eto guys, 15k lang What? Ay, sanabi na agad Ooh Wow, sharp The display is smooth That's a 90Hz refresh rate Although, I was expecting more like 120Hz Pero kasi, 90Hz is already okay Ang mahalaga dapat cover din sa Mobile Legends yung kanyang high refresh rate Which is, before I check it out Ganito po, abilis ang kanyang Processor 420,000 points Ganyan po kabilis si iPhone 12 Pro Max Nung nagkaroon ako Nung cellphone na yun Ito pong score na to Ay flagship performance Nung 2020 Pero humakawa mo na to Sa isang mid-range phone Which is sobrang bilis na For light tasks like Facebook, YouTube, Netflix Checking the browser Things like that And I was surprised The Mobile Legends Kompleto Well since 90Hz refresh rate Yung max frame rates itong uh, display, umaabot siya ng super frame rates sa Mobile Legends. Wala lang siyang ultra frame rates kasi ng ultra frame rates ay 120 FPS na. But the super frame rates allows you to play up to 90 frames per second. Kaya lang grade out pa yung kanyang ultra graphics. Kaya feeling ko, maanak siya din your future basta ma-optimize na yung phone. And yes, uh, the game looks a lot smoother sa super frame rates. So, kung wala mga super frame rate dyan or ultra frame rate phone, this could be your first super frame rate mode like ever for Mobile Legends. The game looks very sharp. Mataas po yung resolution. Ang ganda po ng graphics kasi nga, that AMOLED display really helps with the graphics. Mas na-intensify yung colors, so animation. At oo, ang sarap tingnan kapag naka super frame rates. Ang advantage kasi na mas mataas na frame rate ay less ghosting. Talagang mas accurate yung tingnan. Nakakasabay sa inyong galaw. Eto guys, yung ginagamit talaga sa esports. Kasi nga sa esports, no, yung mga professional at parang sobrang ang bilis na kanilang mamata na kanilang reaction parang hindi nakasabay yung mismong naro kasi nga siguro mabagal yung kanyang response time mabagal yung display mabagal yung computer kaya sa esports kailangan mabilis lahat yung monitor yung computer yung mouse yung keyboard and this right here is a very fast display very fast phone at kinakaya niya pang esports talaga so kung nga very competitive kasi sa Mobile Legends this is the phone for you yun lang sa Call of Duty no hanggang high graphics lang siya pero meron siyang max frame rates although it needs a little bit more Optimization. Kasi feeling ko kaya naman yung very high graphics, max frame rates, and dapat siya ka rin sobrang smooth niya sa Call of Duty. Come to think of it, this performance at this price point is currently the fastest. Oh, at 15,000 pesos. Naku, ang bilis mo nito. 420,000 points, this is currently the fastest. Ay hindi, parang meron din yung phone si Poco na kaya tumapat dito. No last year. Kaya lang si Poco wala siyang 5G at this price, 17K na yun. Ito ay 15K lang, so yeah. And with this kind of power, 
Sa Genshin Impact ba yung tura niya? Ang smooth na smooth na po niya at medium graphics, no? Play this game at medium graphics for this phone, guys. Kasi nga, kung gusto mo talaga ng high-high settings, no? Yung super smooth at the max settings, kailangan talaga na sa 700,000, 800,000 points na sa Antutu Benchmark. Isa pa talaga nag-level up si Genshin Impact in terms of quality content in the past few years. So, kailangan talaga sumaba yung phone nyo. And uh, currently, this is a mid-range phone. So, pang medium graphics, mid-range, medium, ang kaya niya. So, okay sa performance, but what about the camera? Ang camera app niya nung malalaki yung letters para daw kitang kita mo. This is really good para sa mga taong malabo ang mata. Now in terms of picture quality, napakaganda po ng kanyang image quality guys. Ito may mga pictures na nakuha ko. Ang ganda po. Sobrang sharp. It definitely looks like a high-end smartphone camera. Maganda yung dynamic range. Maganda yung color. Isang picture lang pwede ka na agad mag-upload sa Instagram. I can't believe ganito ang kanyang camera quality. Usually kasi guys, pag mid-range entry-level phones parang hindi okay yung mga camera nila. Parang pilit masyado. But this one looks really good. One of the higher-end cameras on the market. And yung selfie camera ay Sony IMX 471 din. Okay na okay yung white balance. Tama-tama sa akin studio. At mukhang magaling stabilization niya. Usually kasi pag picture ako, gumagaling yung katawan ko. So, ito naman. Kahit nagalaw, sharp pa rin tingnan. Hindi siya blurred. Nice. Mukhang nga may OIS to ha. Pero I'm not sure ha. Pero it's able to take pictures very sharply kahit gumagalaw yung katawan ng tao. Yung videos niya, up to 4K, 30 frames per second. Meron siyang live HDR sa video. Ito po yung quality sa video. So, how is it? Live HDR daw meron. Tinatayin yung HDR niya. Ayan po. Against the light po yan. So, dapat okay to. Kung meron siyang live HDR. And how is the audio? And how is the changing lighting condition affecting my image quality? Okay pa rin ba? Oh, by the way, meron pala siyang ultra steady mode. Ito po yung kanyang ultra steady. So, kahit gumalaw-galaw ako, ganyan. Ganyan ako mag-video kung hindi ka ganito mag-videos. Pag natin mag-usap. We can't be friends. Ah. Uh, Meron siya night mode kung gusto mo ng extra tulong sa low light. Yung portrait mode, maganda yung kanyang background blur. Ito po yung extra settings. May dual video, macro, expert. And by the way, meron pala siyang ultra-wide angle lens. Ayan. For group photos. Macro lens, ito lang po. Uh, nothing special about that. And that's the OnePlus Nord Candidate Edition. Core edition pala. Two. Guys, ako na nang sabi sa inyo. One of the best mid-range phones I have ever reviewed early 2022. Feeling ko talaga... This is the better choice. Parang mas okay ito kaysa sa offering ni Xiaomi. Guys, yung mga offering ni Xiaomi earlier this year is just medyo na ako lang ako. Usually kasi pag Xiaomi parang, ah, maganda lagi, sulit. But then, come the OnePlus Nord CE ito, tapos na. Naka-oxygen OS pa. This is a winner. For a price of only 14,990 pesos. 8, 1 to 8 na siya. Meron ng 5G. Tapos, guys, kung nagharap ko ng 5G phone, this should be your choice. And again, binibeta ko to for 499,000 pesos. So, bili mo na. You are going to be special. Kaling pa kaya unbox na Iris. Isa ka sa lima na magkakaroon ito. Kasama si BBM, si Lenny, Pacquiao, Isko. It doesn't get better than that. Hindi, wow. So, let me know what your thoughts are on this phone in the comments below. Pabasag yan. And as usual, if you wanna see more mid-range phones, entry-level phones, flagship phones on my channel, mag-subscribe ko lang. Hit the bell icon. So, that you miss. And I'll probably go on then. Pasabins. And you're watching Unbox Diaries. Hoo-hoo!